day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Because he died for the ungodly. If it, if, if somebody said it's wrong, let me know. He died for the ungodly. For what? To be delivered from this body of sin and death. Your body, that's the problem I think a lot of people are saying in Romans 7. Your body is sin. Is that right, Brother Ashley? Is that what you read, right? That the, the body is what? The flesh. It, the carnage. And that means you live in it, right? Is it, yeah, I, who said yeah. deliver me from the body of death? I don't, I don't, and the only way I can be delivered from this body of death, because this body of death is what I walk in, wake up, sleep in every day of my life. The only way I can be delivered yeah. from it is be spiritually yeah. delivered. Yeah. But you are not going to be delivered in this flesh. <laughs> This flesh is gonna always keep trying to bring the dead. I think you used to laugh, joke about that, brother. That some people used to say they know where the dead man is at. <laughs> we know we buried the dead man, but a lot of us have a tendency to go and dig him back up. Yeah. 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 My fault. <laughs> we we do that, but I'm just saying is we wake up every day in a body of sin. So, I mean, every day I got a challenge. I got to deal with that, that body of sin. I have to deal with it. And I hope everybody else is dealing with it. But I'm only going to deal with it successfully in Christ, not out of Christ. Well, it, it, there has to be sin, sin. And that's the one thing I think we did lose sight of. At least said that a long time ago. We stopped at the cross. <clears throat> and we don't really live in the power of the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on. When we look at the power of his resurrection, then it gives us our our, our, our continuation point. Yes, sir. Uh, we look at guys like Smith Wigglesworth. We look at guys like C.H. Mason. <clears throat> look at so, so, uh, William Seymour. We're looking at guys who <clears throat> actually literally, you know, perform miracles similar to those that were done in the first century. Uh, Further away, we move from the origin, the worst our, our faith is challenged, and so we don't see the manifestations of these things. But either the Bible's a lie, or these signs shall follow them that believe. Yeah. Either the Bible's a lie, or it says these signs and greater shall you do. Yeah. But we have to align ourselves with the Lord in order for this part, this thing to be manifested to us. I think it 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 it, it, it works more effectively when we're able to do that. Yeah. And so there's a greater glory that we uh we really are striving for. Yeah. yeah. And I thought that greater glory would bring us accolades, but as the Lord showed me, he said that they, they, they crucified Christ and he raised the dead. They opened blinded eyes and they crucified him. He tinched in the limbs, you fed him, and they crucified him because of the system that we're living in. You know, it's trying to draw people out of that system. So all these things are available to us won't manifest unless we do align ourselves with the love of you. Abide in me and my word abide in you know what you ask in my name I do. Yeah. He said that in his word. Yeah. So we, we are we are in this path right now of learning how to abide in Christ. Yeah. And as we abide in him, we will witness the works of his Holy Spirit even as it works through us. Yeah. And I mean man, there's a there's a glory here that we have not tapped on yet. Because um, I'll be honest with you, the tens do plague you from time to time. 
but it's nothing in comparison to raising the child from the dead. You know what I mean? If we could literally go into St. Jude's and bring these children up and out, not without a bill, but I'm talking about without the sickness. Yeah. How many tens will we trade for that? Yeah. Trade the, all the rest of the tens of our lives and just go out the window. Get that noise, man. I'm going to raise somebody from the dead. I would far rather alleviate that kind of suffering than to, you know, to, to please my own flesh. Yeah. You know, and I think that's what God has, the Lord has brought us here for, to demonstrate the selflessness and the true love of God to the world. We are the light of the world. Come on now. Come on. So there's some things that's gonna there's some things that are falling off of us for a yeah. purpose. Yeah. If these guys didn't give their lives for fun, they gave their lives for us. Yes. And and you know, one of the things in uh brother Isaac covered it last week, we covered it last week and uh, I, I think this is a good way to wrap it up for the for the day, man, is this. This is Romans eight. And 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 I ain't gonna ask Brother Addison to read it again. Mm -hmm. it's Boston. This is uh, Romans 8, 31 and 39. Do you want to read that, brother, again? Lord, I think you're anointed to read it, so it's up to you. I think you're just trying to get me to read it. <laughs> 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 All right. You said... Uh, 31 to 39. 20, 20 what? 31 through 20, 39. All right. What shall we then say to these things? What things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Come on now. He has spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. Uh -huh. us uh, yeah. him also freely give us all things. Freely, all things. Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? Now, who's, charged, who's going to lay a charge against you? It is God that justifies. Oh, I thought it was you to do that. Who is he that condemned? What? It is that died, yeah, rather, that is risen again, oh. who is at the right hand of God, what? who also maketh intercession for us. So he's praying for me daily. Praise yeah. him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Who shall Thank separate you. us from the love of Christ? Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Or Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Or famine, Lord, Lord, Lord. or nakedness, or peril, Lord, Lord. or sore. As it is written, for God's sake, we are killed all the day long. Yes, sir. We are counted as sheep for the slot. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. No, nay, no, no. In all these things, we are more than conquerors to the end of the For I am persuaded of either death. Nor life, nor uh -huh. angels, nor principality, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. What? Nor height, nor depth, nor what? any other creature that shall be able to se separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our in, Lord. In Christ Jesus. In other words, we, I, at, least, at least I want to tell anybody to listen to this thing live on Facebook, but, uh, you too. Don't allow even yourself to separate yourself from the Amen. love of God. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't let the enemy tell you <laughs> that you can be separated from the love of Christ or from the love of God. We do the separation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. But Hallelujah. He does not separate us. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That's why we that's why I like the gospel is despite my weakness. I'm talking about me. I don't I, I don't know I don't know about L, L. I don't know about Brother Addison. I don't know. For me, I I, I need him. All right. I'm not gonna be yeah, separate. Man. He won't separate from me yeah, yeah, despite yeah, yeah, my yeah. weaknesses. And I'm gonna tell you something, I have weaknesses. Now I know all y'all walk on water, y'all got your act together, you don't do yeah. your sin. I have fallen short, and I have a daily challenge that I must go to him to deal with. Amen? It may not be, I know that some of you might say it's small. That's okay. But it's still big to me, right? It's just like you, anybody, anything you do, Brother Addison, it may be 
small to somebody else, but it's still big to you. Yeah. And that's why you want to deal with God. You want him to deliver you from those things. And that's why I want people that's out there that's, to listen on Facebook and stuff and say, man, don't, 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 don't give up because uh, you got areas that you don't, you're not happy with. Just stay with him. Just stay with him. That that I think that's the point I was trying to get through. It just you you in you got a sinful flesh that you live in every day. You have to die daily, and you can only win in Christ, not out of Christ. Does that make sense? Well, uh, 